Hello everyone, and welcome back to the ECW training series. Today we're going to go over medications, medical history, and allergies. By the end of this video, you should feel pretty comfortable working with all three of these sections. So let's get right into it. Here we are at the top of a progress note for a test patient, and our first place to go is here, current medications, right under HPI. And notice there are a couple of different headings here, taking, discontinued, unknown. So we'll explain those a little bit as we go in. Now here we are inside and we can visualize it under medication reconciliation, which is just an alternative name. Also note, this is the tab that you can go under. This here is just a pictorial representation of the entire progress note. So you have sections like allergies, medical history, which we'll get to, complaints, vitals, HPI, family history, and so on. Just different options. So first I'd like to draw your attention to these four things right here, these letters, next to mark all as. And as I mentioned in a previous video, and if you were reading while I was speaking, you see they stand for taking, not taking, discontinued, and unknown status. When you see a new patient for the first time and they have previous medications from another visit with another provider, it's a good habit to get into to select all as unknown and to work your way down as you ask them about different medications. The reason for that is you might not ask them about all of their medications during this visit. But so here we are, here are different options. And so you'll notice that there's a medication, you'll notice there's a strength, and there's even instructions. Start dates and stop dates will occasionally, but not always be here. Notes are rarely filled in, but there's an option to add something extra if you'd like. And for source, that's usually just the provider who is prescribing it. So let's just enter one quickly as an example. And notice that as soon as I click on it, I have different options for strength, which is important. Make sure to look for the form, such as tablet, chewable tablet, there are capsules, powders, and any other options as well, and even the instructions, routes, frequencies, and so forth. So let's just choose this one. And notice there's a little warning here. Already on the list. I'm going to add it anyway, just so we can take a look. And now we have a fresh medication here. So we can leave it under taking, or we can simply press and put it in a different option. Going to choose discontinued for the reason that a little warning comes up that it's been discontinued here. So how does this look outside? Now we have two medications under discontinued. And you can just easily change these medications to taking. In which case discontinued disappears since they were both put into a different category. And make sure you always verify. We're going to say that a few times today. For our next section, past medical history, we'll click the tab at the bottom. And here are the different choices. Here's what they've had previously. Now, you can enter a keyword or just it's free type directly, which is preferable because it's a little more flexible. However, you can search for ICD codes as well, because then the ICD codes will come up here, which is convenient because later you may have to enter them as well. And as always, make sure the history is verified. Now, let's give an example. Press enter, and it's as simple as that. If you made a mistake, go to the little waste bin, and delete. If we search for ICD, see so you have all these different options. And here's the ICD code, and here it is typed out exactly as is. Only problem is you can't edit this because it's associated with an ICD code, whereas with these, you can edit as much as you'd like. And for allergies, it's a little more convoluted. It's a little more difficult because you have to adapt to your search engine here. It's a little bit difficult, so let me choose an option. Now, it's better to choose the ones that have a little leaf next to it. Those are more official or they're a little more established. And then you'll have to choose these different options. Reaction type, we'll choose something like that. And then make sure it's a true allergy and not just a side effect of something. In the case of pollen, it can't be a side effect status, active or inactive, and criticality. 
once you press OK. Then this is what it will look like. And again, the waste bin is there if you ever make a mistake. You can press no known drug allergies, but in this case we have entries, so we don't have the option here. But make sure you verify the allergies. This concludes our video today. After viewing this, you should be comfortable with medications, medical history, and allergies. It's a fairly common standard practice to enter these three sections, so all providers, clinical assistants, clinical care coordinators should feel comfortable because they might be doing it often. Thank you and see you next time.